It's been called Bosnia's deepest political crisis since the end of the war in 1995. The UN High Representative for Bosnia warned earlier this month the country was at risk of unraveling amid a resurgence of nationalist and separatist rhetoric. Aber wenn die Entwicklung weg vom Dayton-Vertrag weitergeht, dann besteht in der Tat aus meiner Sicht und meiner Analyse und der meines Teams die Gefahr, dass das Land auseinanderbricht. Signed in 1995, the Dayton Peace Accords put an end to the Bosnian War by introducing a joint system of governance and splitting the country in two. The Republika Srpska, dominated by ethnic Serbs, and the Federation, home to Croats and Bosniaks. The position of High Representative was also created to oversee the treaty's implementation and given the power to dismiss politicians and veto laws. But the agreement has recently faced growing opposition by Bosnian-Serbian politicians who denounce abusive meddling by the international community. In July, Bosnian Serb representatives announced a boycott of state institutions to protest a law prohibiting genocide denial. Since then, tensions have been running high, with the leader of the Bosnian Serbs, Milorad Dodic, even threatening to break away from the army to create an independent Serbian armed faction. The combative rhetoric has raised alarm in the international community and sparked fears of a resurgence of ethnic conflict in Bosnia. Last week, the U.S. sent one of its top diplomats to seek assurances from Dodic there would be no all-out war, while Germany threatened Friday to cut funding to Bosnia if it continued to challenge the Dayton Accords.